I saw Laurie leaving the apartment with Rex. What? I'm serious, John. I went over to talk to her and maybe take some of the heat off you, and there he was, picking her up. They were going to the hatch shell. You're fucking unbelievable, you know that? I mean, how stupid do you think I am? If you think that by making shit like that up, you're gonna make me choose some kind of loyalty to you over her, you're out of your fucking Johnny, mind. Johnny, it's the truth, I'm telling you. You know what? Get out of here. You know what? You're acting like a cock. You know that? What? I'm acting like a cock? Yes, you are. So shut your meat hole for a second and listen to me. Huh? Meat hole? What, is that, you know, that's not right, is it? No. Puddin' hole? Is that what they say? Is that what? No, it can't be that either, right? Because how can you have any puddin' if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> right? This the, the Pink Floyd thing. <laughs> Look, the point is, you're blaming me for something that you did to yourself. Laurie was right about you. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. Oh, and you can? I don't have to. I'm a fucking teddy bear. You know something? I didn't tie you up and drag you to that party, all right? I wanted you to come because you're supposedly my best friend. You can't stand there and tell me you haven't always seen Laurie as a threat to our friendship. I mean, it works out so much better for you when you and I are getting fucked up on the couch at 9 a.m., doesn't it? <laughs> Listen to yourself. What am I, Emperor Ming here controlling your mind? That's your choice, John. And you know, by blaming me, you, you're just making yourself look like a pussy. You know, sometimes I think back to that Christmas morning when I was eight years old. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. Say that one more time. Teddy rocks fucking pen! Thank <laughs> you. 